Good morning, dear students. I am Satyam Chowdhury, your English teacher. Today, I am going to explain chapter four of class nine. The name of the lesson is a truly beautiful mind. This is the lesson in which the writer William Butterfield is described about. It is Walter. Walter is described about the beautiful mind of a scientist whose name was Albert Einstein. Okay, I remember the right uh, scientist Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, who was a very famous scientist and who won the Nobel Prize, he was very good in. Physics and mathematics. Okay, so I'm going to explain this lesson. See on page number forty-seven of your book, A Truly Beautiful Mind. Before you read, there is given something for as a question, as a point. That is given. Who do you think of when you hear the word genius? Genius. When you hear this word genius, about whom, whose image stuck in your mind? It's a question. And what is a genius? What qualities do you think a genius has? Whose image? When you listen this word a genius, whose image is stuck in your mind? And about whom you are start to thinking? What is genius? Can you know what is genius? Or what quality do you think a genius has? Give your answers. Okay. In second point, we shall now read about the young German civil servant who took who took the world by storm about the hundred years ago. In the summer of 1905, the 26-year-old published a quick succession practical the electro dynamic of moving body and the and energy his work took up only the few paper of scientific pages in scientific journals but changed forever and understanding of space time and entire cosmos and transferred the name einstein into the synonym of a for genius her his name einstein His name is transferred as the synonym uh, of genius. His work, his effort, what he did in the field of science that changed the thinking of people about the motion of particles, electromagnetic, electrodynamic of moving bodies, and energy. It was taken few pages in the journal. Journal paper, but it has changed the understanding about space, time, and the entire cosmos. Okay, what is the meaning of cosmos? Cosmos that the body is present in the universe that changes the mind and understanding about the body that are present in universe. Fifty years after his death, Albert Einstein's genius is still remains. Means after his death, after fifty years of death, he was still in the mind of people as a genius. Okay. Now see on the points. I am going to explain the points. Albert Einstein was born on 14 March 1879 in German city of Ulm. He was born in German city. Okay, he was born on 14 March 1879 in German city of Ulm without any indication that was destined for greatness. On the contrary, his mother taught Albert was a thought Albert was a freak. As he was a child, he was unable to do his simple things. That's why his mother thought that he is a freak. 
थ्री मंथ रूप भी कह सकते हैं सो ऑन द कंट्री हिज मदर थॉट अलबर्ट वॉज अ फ्री वट इज यूज टू डिस टू टॉक अबाउट द पर्सन हुज अनयूजल एंड डजेंट बिहेव ओके टू हर हिज हेड सीम्स टू मच लार्ज Albert Einstein's head was looking too much big, large for her mother, and he was unable to speak a word. Up. He was unable to show his talent, or he was unable to show his greatness in his childhood. That her mother thought he was a free. Okay, he was free. In point number two, it was clear why her mother. Or thought that he is a free. At the age of two and a half, my skin was still was wasn't talking. When he finally did learn to speak, he uttered everything twice. Why she called him free? Because until he was two and a half years old, he was unable to speak a word. In the age of two and a half, he was unable to speak a word. That's why her mother or his mother told him. When he started speaking the words he uttered, uttered or he repeating the words twice. If he speak the sentence, he took more time to speak that word because he uttered the words twice. I still did not know what do what to do at the with other children, and his parents called him brother boy. This was the name that was given by his playmates. He was unable to speak as he was starting speaking the words, he uttering the words twice. That's why his friends start calling him. His playmates start calling him brother Bori. Okay, so the youngster played by much himself, much for a of a time. He especially loved mechanical toys. Looking at his newborn sister Maza, he is said to have said, "Fine, but where are her wheels?" Okay, he was the young child, and he plays alone. He had no friends. He had no good friends, so he played alone and loved mechanical. Instrument toys. He loves to play with mechanical toys. In after some time, a little newborn baby came in her in his house, and she was her young sister. When the newborn sister he looked her, he. Asked her mother, "All right, she is a girl, but where is her wheels?" As he was playing with the mechanical toys, they have wheels. They are moving from here to there on wheels. That's why he asked her mother about that newborn baby's wheels. Okay, that was point number two. And point three, a headmaster once told his father. That what Einstein chose as a profession without major, because he will never make a success at anything, as he was not showing his efforts in other works. His headmaster, headmaster, called his parents, his father, and told him that as his child, in future, if he decide to do anything as a profession nothing matter for that because he will not get any kind of success in any mantra bhakti hai that's why he will not got success in any work if he choose anything as a profession no matter because he will not get success in it okay i still begin learning to play the violin at age of 6 because his father want to him he later become a gifted amateur violinist maintaining the skill throughout his life in the age of 6 when he was 2 and a half year old he was unable to speak 
But when he was in six year old, six years he was learning to play violin. Okay, he was learning to play violin and learning and repeating of learning again and again. He was got good knowledge of violin because his mother wants that he will good in violin. Okay. Einstein was highly gifted in mathematics and interest 
statistical physics. He was very good in mathematics and physics. That he was written that he was gifted from God in mathematics and physics. And after finishing his school, he decided to study in university in Zurich. So he was completed his class of the 12 then he was agreed to complete his graduation in Zurich that is given Zurich Z U I C at university he was agreed to complete or he decided to study at university of Zurich but science wasn't the only thing that appealed to that young man with a walrus message. Okay? Science. As he was the child of science, he was gifted by God in mathematics and physics. So that time, science not allowed person to join his university with Mostage. He was very good in science, but he kept his message that the young dashing man was not allowed to be kept mostage. Okay? So he was completed his high school in Munich. After that, he completed his up to 12, 10 plus 2 in Munich. And then he transferred to Zurich University of University of Zurich. And there he was ready to complete his graduation. Okay? Up to point number six. All things are clear. That's all for today. We will be continuing tomorrow for our point seven. Okay?